Hello, everyone. Welcome into the show. I'm your host, Earl Hall. I'm the Chief Marketing Officer for AJC. I am having so much fun coming to you just about a couple of times a week now, bringing you a special guest on to talk about their experience with using our automated predictable system inside of Arturo Johnson Consulting. Today, we have a very special guest with me. We have Yolanda. How are you doing today, Yolanda? Thanks so much for being here with me. I'm great. How are you? I am doing absolutely amazing. Look, we had a couple of technical issues, but we worked it. We worked yes. through it and got all the way through it. Well, Yolanda, tell me, how was it that you even got involved with selling life insurance? What was that journey like even getting into the industry? Oh, oh, I, um, I was uh, um, recently, well, not recently, I was retired from the military in 2016. Thank you for your service. And, uh, thank you. From that point, uh, it's been just a, okay, I'm going to enjoy being free for a little bit, enjoy the grandkids, that kind of thing. And then um, I've been just, I was just wondering, you know, I've done what I've had to do, you know, with raising kids and being in the military so long, I didn't know what I wanted to do. Mm. Um, and I happened to run into a, a, an old comp, a colleague of mine that he was in insurance and he, you know, he brought it up to me and I was going, you know, that could be interesting. I mean, I know the only thing I could say I know I wanted to do was I wanted I like helping people. Okay. And you know that's pretty broad. Yeah. <laughs> Especially nowadays. Um, but I was still stuck with what exactly do I want to do? Um, yeah, I mean, when you're going through that change, I mean, after because you you did you retire from the military? Like you were in yes, twenty years. Well, so that's a big chunk of life right there. Yeah. You know, and then trying to decide what we're going to do after that. I mean, I spent five years in the United States Air Force. That was just a small portion, you know, of my <laughs> life. But, you know, and I was still in my 20s, you know, back when I had hair and, you know, it wasn't great. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> you know, with that. So, I mean, what was it that, like, really appealed to you? Were you recruited into the industry? Had you been doing some study up on it before you got out of the military? How did that work? Uh, I had been. I believe he recruited me into it. And um, and we were with um, with FFL now. We were with a different company. Um, and then things really weren't. It was more MLM ish. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's something that I've really never been really good at. Okay. <laughs> so I was just eh. uh, and once he switched over, he switched over, and the whole team switched over uh, to FFL. Things were a lot better. Um, so and I said, you know, oh, I, I can see this. I can, I can okay. do this. This is just about where I want to be. You know, I like having my time to myself. And, mm -hmm. you know, and that was one thing I definitely wanted to do was be able to spend more time with the grandkids, the ones that are local anyway. Yeah. Um, and, you know, to have the freedom. I want to have the freedom to go see the rest of them. <laughs> the other yeah, ones. that's important. You know? Especially, that is definitely important. I mean, so how long have you been in the insurance industry now? How long have, when did you get started? Uh, I want to say around January um, is when I, or maybe early February, is when mm -hmm. I completed the, um, the exam and yeah. was, you know, ready to get going. Okay. All right. So, and I mean, it looks, I mean, you just came on with us. This was what, the end of August? That yeah. you started working with AJC. So tell us about that transition. How did you come to find us? And, you know, why are we even looking? Let's kind of start there. Um, well, I was, you know, getting out. My interest was kind of waning from the other company. And uh, so I don't know. I don't remember how far back. But I remember seeing um, an ad. Mm -hmm. And it piqued my interest. And I've seen it a few times um, and never did anything. And I I vaguely remember maybe, you know, looking into it, maybe uh, clicking on it. And uh, months ago, <laughs> it, okay. was really, really, it was pretty much maybe ooh, March. It was, you know, it was early months ago and I didn't do anything. Um, mm. And then I just said, you know, I really need to do something with myself. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, uh, I, you know, I saw it again, and I said, you know what, I'm going I'm to look into this. So I started, um, I think I ran across a couple of interviews that you did, and I was going, hmm, okay. 
I can I can see this. So we're coming know? full circle now. You watched interviews. Yeah. Now you're actually oh, doing yeah. an interview that other folks are going to see. <laughs> so yeah, we we're coming full circle here. We love that in the family here. Oh yeah, I think it was with Edwin. I saw the the okay. interview with Edwin, and I was on. You know, I think I'm just going to go and take the leap. You know, just jump in. So I mean, since the you know you came in the end of end of August, what has that experience been like for you? What have you been experiencing, you know, since you've been on board just the past couple of weeks now? Um, well, getting past the fear. Okay. <laughs> um, but it's been it's been great. I love the support. Anytime uh, once I first started, you know, going through the videos and things with the classes. Um, I have questions that, and that's just my nature. I'll just, you know, I'm like a, a old car going uphill. That's how my brain is. And once I get there, I'm good. Yeah. But it's that process of getting up the hill. I'll ask questions. I'll probably wear you out, you know, wear your brain out just asking questions and things like that. Uh, because you just don't know what you don't know. And I just, I don't know. Maybe that's the military in me. It's like, mm. you know, you need to have answers. <laughs> yeah. But, um, it's been, you know, going through the process and needing this uh, support, the uh, was really great, especially getting things set up with the uh, trying to get the, the SMS set up and the Zapier and all mm, that stuff set up was, yeah, uh, yeah that, I've never seen that before, never dealt with it. So that was interesting. <laughs> yeah. But it's all worked out really good. So, I mean, in the past couple of weeks, how many leads do you think you've had come in, like total? Uh, so right now, I believe I'm at maybe what 128 leads. Uh, just since I've been in, and uh, I've gotten started, and see, I was at just over 100 at the end of with a full month. Okay. The full month of September. Mm -hmm. um, which, uh, of course, you know, people are going to be people, and since they fill out the form and everything, that doesn't mean they're going to answer it. <laughs> well, the phone. But I mean, it's been to me, I call I just consider that practice. OK. So what's it been looking like as far as I mean, so you've got like 120 some odd leads that have come in out of those 120 some odd leads. How many do you think have actually booked appointments like directly on your calendar? Like they just said, hey, I want to I want to call. Let's see, I counted and I was let's see, what was I? Around 40. Okay. In the 30s to 40, 30, late, late 30s to 40. Okay. -ish. And so what did, what did that translate into you for the month of September just for AP? Oh, it was, I uh, made around a little over 4,000. Wow. Okay. For, uh, you're very, September. your very first month. Yes. I, I mean, know. I got the day one, I got, oh, about, I want to say started with four or five leads. Okay. Within the first 24 hours uh, with, with my ad starting. Wow. So I was excited. I was so excited. I didn't know what to do myself. <laughs> but, <laughs> it works. <laughs> what do you think has been the most like transformational thing for you just by being in the program? What's it, what's it meant to you to be able to see these types of things happening? Um, it has been really, really, it gives me more confidence. Uh, that I can do this. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we're starting something totally new, getting out of my element. Uh, I didn't, I was really hesitant at first. And that's why I was so nervous about starting this whole process because I'm going, I'm not into sales. I don't, you know, this is, mm -hmm. uh. <laughs> but uh, it's really, it's really helped. It's really given me the confidence that I, I can do that. You know, I, I knew it, but just seeing that I can do this, and yeah. going through the process has been it's been a great journey. Terrific. Well, I mean, the more we do, the more that you do, obviously, the better you'll get, you know, oh, yeah. because I, I don't know that many people are born natural born salespeople, you know, anyway. But I believe it is a learnable skill. And it's yeah. just something that, you know, you started selling back, you know, earlier this year. And now you're just getting better and better and better, you know, with that. What were you doing beforehand? Like, how were you getting your leads before? Um, how was that working for you before you came to AJC? Um, well, actually, I hadn't gotten any leads. I hadn't. Wow. It was because of the, the, the MLL-ish 
of the mm. of the company. Okay. okay. <laughs> it was just uh and what I did was I worked with my warm market and you know, I now feel like I've, you know, burned bridges. Mm. Kind of, you know. Uh, no, I believe you. Look, everyone that has sold insurance knows exactly what you mean by what yeah. you just said. We all know. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and so I was really, I was like, I don't want to do anything that I would have to do that uh, because, I'm, you know, once you've gone through them a couple of things, we're doing a couple of things and, you know, your family and friends are just like, oh, mm -hmm. here we go again. Here they go. So I didn't want to get into anything like that again. So that was one thing. Um, when I was looking into this, I wanted to make sure that, look, I'm not going to have to do this kind of stuff. And mm -hmm. uh, and that was another thing that really appealed to me. Well, I mean, when you're working warm market or anything like that, it's like kind of what we say in some of the things that we talk about is like you're chasing people. No one's chasing you. No one's coming yeah. asking you. You know, now yeah. at least you've got people on paper asking or booking appointments. They're asking, you know, yes. for it, you know. If, you know, no one has to convince me to eat chocolate cake. You have to put a piece of chocolate cake in front of me. You know what I'm saying? You don't got to yes. sell me on a chocolate cake. I, I'll add, if it's on the menu, I want that right. I want it to look just like that, you know. Yes. You know, with that. You know, knowing now that people are going to be seeing you, you know, at this point, you know, Yolanda Van, you know, you know, on our podcast and on our videos talking about your experience, what would your, what would you say to someone that is like, is in your position that you were in a couple of months ago, like trying to decide what to do, like what advice would you give them? Um, I would say take the leap. I mean, it's scary. Definitely. Um, just take the leap and um, enjoy the ride because it's the, the help you receive and support is just phenomenal. I love it. Wow. I ask a question and then you have the, the rainmaker calls. And uh, I like the fact that you can, you know, you be on there until you work things out. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I've been on there and people that have had issues and I'll just watch, you know, if I don't have a question and, and I'm just like, wow, they really, you know, don't try to hurry up. Oh, we have to get off of here now and yeah. just stay on there with you and work things out until, <laughs> you know, until you get it. And that, that's, that's my old quote, car hit, brain going uphill. That's what I need. <laughs> The support I need, and so it's. I would say just take the leap and go for it. Wow. Well, Yolanda, I definitely appreciate you. You know, taking out the time to to talk to us today and our audience, and just share your experience with what you've been experiencing with Arturo Johnson Consulting and the program that we have for the Attracting Unlimited Millionaires program. Um, but just want to say thank you for your time. I definitely appreciate it. Oh, thank you for having me. I really appreciate that. Wow. And to all of you, thanks so much for tuning in with us today. Make sure that you share this out with someone that needs it. Also, if you have questions, you can somewhere around this video, you can book an appointment to talk with one of us. Um, if you're looking, if you're trying to look at what this would look like for you, you've heard what it looks like for Yolanda. You can find out exactly what this can look like for you and if it's going to be a good fit. So until next time, thank you so much and we'll see you then. Take care.